Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you how to register dot a bit addresses for use in Zeronet. So I have an example site here. I'm sure your site is much better than this. Um, but this is a clone of the Zero blog. And it, this is its public key. So this is what I would need to link to someone to so they could have access to my site and what you need to link to to get to my site. So this is hard and long to remember and doesn't look that nice. And Zeronet allows you to register dot .bit addresses. One example use you may have seen is Zerotalk, is talk.zeronetwork.bit. So this domain is what you need to go to Zero Network, uh, Zero Talk, talk on Zero Network. So th this then would equate to its the website's public key, uh, but it's a lot nicer to look at and is also more unique and easier to remember. So these um, Bitcoin addresses are made or unregistered with the use of Namecoin. So as you see here, Namecoin is a decentralized and open source thing uh, for just registering information. I won't go into much detail of how it works, but I'll show you what you have to do. So what you need to do first is download. And you want to download the Qt client. So if you're on Windows, download the Windows. If you're on Linux, download Linux. If you're on Mac, download the Mac. So once you have it downloaded, you'll run. And then what you'll have is a bar here showing how far updated you are with the network. So you need to download the blockchain and this will take about an hour or so. It takes a bit longer if you're on a slower internet connection or it won't take as long if you're on a fast internet connection. So once you're up to date and this green check mark means that you're up to date, you then have a Namecoin wallet. So you need to top up this wallet with an amount of Namecoin. So this is like on the order of like nine cents or nine P, something like that. So it, it's pennies. However, with this name coin, you can actually register a domain. In another video, which I'll link on screen, I'll show you how to get name coins uh, for free. So you don't actually need to pay anything. So you, even though there are only pennies, you don't need to uh, send any money through PayPal or anything. You can just get name coins for free. And I'll link to that on the screen right now. So when you have the name coin wallet, you can then use it to register Bitcoin addresses. So if you go into manage names, you can see the new name field. So you have to put slash D for your domain, and then you can put in the domain you want. So let's say I want the domain ACE, and I can click submit, but it says it's not available because somebody else already has ACE. So the next best thing I'd go with is ACE Lewis. So if I click submit now, it will say, are you sure you want to get register Ace Lewis, which you will have Ace Lewis bit. And I say yes. So now if I cancel, I then have my Ace Lewis ad added to my registered names. Now here you see it says pending new. This basically means you have to wait for approximately two hours for the Namecoin network to say that you actually have the address. Um, and then once you wait that time, you then have that address f until it expires. As you see here, this will expire in 35,000 blocks, which is 35,000 times about 10 minutes. So it's about half a year or something like that. So. Now you have this domain, you need to use this domain to link to your zero blog or your zero website. So what I'm going to do is right click and configure name. Now, usually you would use your DNS configuration. Uh, if you have a dot bit address from normal website or the IP configuration or identity, but what we're going to have to use is the custom configuration. So in this custom configuration, 
you can write a JSON string. So this is what we're going to have, but we're not going to type it directly into here. I'll open up a text editor. So what you need to do, well, is go to zero name, scroll down to the bottom, and it shows you quite clearly how to register a name coin address. So I'll copy this. So we only need this bit here, which is zero net. And this string here, or this text, we'll then copy our address to. Now, if you want a subdomain, so like, as you see here, you have talk.zeronetwork.bit. You can put in talk and then have the domain name or the public key of the other website. So then you have your subdomain on the main domain. And then where there is no string or nothing, there's not even a space there, that is the root one. So like if you just put in zero network, it will take you to this page, which is which would be the root. So in our case, we I'm not showing you how to use root or, or any, I'm not going to register a subdomain, I'm just going to register this domain. So this is the JSON string. What we'll do is I'll copy that. And now I will go into Namecoin and paste that JSON string into here. We could alternatively now just remove the, the white spaces just so it looks a little nicer. So this is the JSON string you need to put in to register this website here for this domain, acelewis.bit. So now we press OK. And now as soon as this is accepted by the network, it will have the value of this, which means that we have then registered the domain. So what I'll do now is wait and then come back a few hours later when this pending thing has successfully been accepted. And then I'll show you that this domain can now be used to access that website. Okay, so now it's much later in the day. I uh, forgot to do this bit earlier. Um, you only need to wait like from when you register the domain. Was it two, two or three hours, and then you've got the domain on ZeroNet. So I've waited more than that, and now when you go to ZeroNet, so you put this normal stuff in. So if I just, this is like the home page. So if you just replace that with ace lewis dot bit and click enter, you then will go to my blog. I'll change my blog and I'll, I'll either keep this design or update it for the future. But basically, um, you can now access my blog by going to acelewis.bit on Zeronet. Um, you can also do this yourself. So if you like the video, give it a like. And also if you want to see more videos like this on Zeronet and also on other things, you can put a comment to, to tell me what you'd like me to check out uh, or show you. And yeah, I've put two videos on screen now one showing how you can actually create a website. So when you um, so you obviously need a, to create a Zeronet website before you have a name. And also I'll show you how to get name coins for free. So you can 
get your dot bit address without actually having to pay for anything at all. So yeah, thanks. I'm Ace Lewis and goodbye.